everyone to the WRAR Sonic stage. At the... Wow, it's just scores of people clapping for us here at the WRAR Sonic stage at the RVA Music Fest. They're, they must be drunk too. I know. We're in crowd control. Well, I'm that yeah, we don't have any bouncers. Bouncers in the house? I think they're breaking the barriers now. I feel like everybody's going to start throwing bows. <laughs> so I'm sitting here with uh, the four comedians in white laces. They're here all night. <laughs> and I'm Mike Rutz with WRIR, so uh, thanks guys for sitting here and uh, answering questions. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Really appreciate it. Uh, uh, first off, how was your set out there? It was actually pretty fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was really hot, but I mean, it was, I don't know, we haven't played a stage like that ever. I yeah, think. I was going to ask you, was that the biggest stage you ever performed yeah, on? Yeah, that's true. Right. And the last time I think we played outdoors, we were playing to like a dog and a, and the tenant <laughs> of the yeah, house feel bad about in Austin. In like, oh. someone's backyard. It was, a, it was a backyard in Austin. It was a great backyard. It was a dusty backyard. <laughs> yeah, it was a musty backyard. Yeah, yeah the, <laughs> dog, the dog had super fun. <laughs> the dog was throwing those. The yeah. dog, the dog was really throwing down for the last eight, <laughs> South by Southwest. Yeah. Yes. So, so was that uh, was that actually a show when you went out to, to South by Southwest? Yes. Uh, when we were out there, we we got offered a last minute house show, and we took it. And then the last minute house show ended up being kind of a bummer. So we got offered a last minute house show, <laughs> and then we went and played the other last minute house show, and we were like, you know. We'll just throw down. We'll take our shirts off. It was like yeah. hundred degrees, <laughs> and then everyone took pictures of it. <laughs> and that was the one the when after after we hadn't showered for three days. Take your shirts off. Stop. Yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> We're gonna need crowd control. Yeah. This is so it was it was a good time, but uh, no, today was today was really fantastic. I I mean, it was really great that RBA put this on. All the sponsors, mm -hmm. and I mean you guys for doing this as well. I think it was. Uh, Really, a really great day and a really great weather for it too. Definitely. Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, let's uh, let's talk about some white laces. Um, first off, uh, Landis, you used to be in Cinema Sophia, and we've talked before about this. It seemed like you uh, had uh, transformed your uh, performance into a kind of a, a, I guess, a, a new phase of your life uh, in, in your musical life. So, what happened? You know, what what led to this kind of like transformation? Oh. Um, <laughs> as, as Jay immediately puts his head down. Yeah, it was Jay. <laughs> just kidding. No, no, I just, uh, I, you know, it, it, you know, things reach a certain point, and you, you have, you know, this idea of what you want to do, and then you're just like, this is, this is not what I want anymore. And I had a lot of things happen in my life, and I just started trying to write and do things from a completely different perspective, and I wanted to just do things differently and I mean more or less it was just a complete break for me it was just kind mm -hmm. of like this uh, you know I was happy with it for a while and then I felt like I was kind of tethered to it and I'm still kind of tethered to Jay and that was it I don't know that that's really the best explanation I have it was just like it was a it was a big gap in like who I was at that time and who mm -hmm. I am now and sort of like dealing with the transition between the, the two so how did you get to here and now where you are now like how did uh, this Unit form. Well, um, I I actually had like a few beers, so I'll tell the story. I guess the, the way it is, and then in the long form, I uh, I went to uh, I went. To, I, was, I was working at a Bagels Are uh, for the the blip on the radar that that was, and I saw Field Day play, and I saw Jimmy play drums, and I was like, well, I was like, if I, I I was really exhausted, I didn't want to do bands anymore. I was in a really terrible funk in my life. I was living in a laundry room. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, while I'm spending my time between this laundry room and the sound booth, I was like, but if I if I do a band again, I'll do. I, I was like, I, I have to play with him, or I'm just not going to do it. He and tagged me. I tagged, and he was it, and uh, it worked out well. And so I, I played I played with him. It, I mean, it was sort of just for a long time. I started playing with him, uh, and it ended up being going really well. And then Jay joined the band on guitar, and then. Um, I think the word is wussed out. You wussed out for a I while. Wussed out. Because Jay's a terrible guitar player. Right. Um, 
And he had to be in time to practice. Yeah, any uh, any any left for a while. We had a few lineup changes. It's gonna turn into oh. And then eventually we were gonna go record the P and uh, the. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> record the EP. Brilliant. It's 85 degrees and I had so much beer. Yeah. Um, we went to record the EP and Jake calls me and goes, why didn't you ask me to play bass on the record? And I was like, because you quit. Do I just say that this is not out of story one? No, he asked me. The penis turned out great. You asked me to play two so two shows on guitar. Change. And I did. And, and you believe me anymore. because you're an you see idiot. what happens when you interview us? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So anyway. No, these, these are all lies. This is the best interview all day. So, uh, so no, no, anyway. No, here's what happened. So Jay, the just called me and said, why did you play bass on the EP? So, no, I, no, I didn't do that. And pretty baby came along and now everything's fine. And Alex showed up and said, I know how to play these songs. And we said, and actually the first time we ever played together in a room was last October in WRIR. Uh, we did those radio sessions. That was the first time Alex was in the room with any of us, and I'm sure that he regrets that. <laughs> Wait, it was only like I had never met Jay before. Talking to Mike, yeah. I had never met Jay before. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's kind of how things ended up. And um, I mean, at this point, we don't hate each other, so that was it was a good. Well, I think that's a good mix. Right now, currently. That's that. Well, Jay and I hate each other intermittently, but I think everybody else, like, we're able to, like, you know, blow off steam. I think, you know, we work well together we to a certain extent. A lot. We pull off a lot of steam. Alex has been growing this intense beard for a while, so that's, uh, he's committed. Stop hating on Alex. Alex is great. <laughs> Alex is a jerk. Oh. So anyway, yeah, it, it all ended up sort of organically after a while. We've been playing together for a little bit less than a year. It's like, uh, I think last October was our first show. Yeah. Um, our, our records are stamped with the organic symbol yeah. on there. We spray. It's organic. Well, speaking of your record, this is the record, White Laces, and it has five songs on it. Is this the EP you're referring to? That is the EP, yes. Okay. Um, and so when did this come out? And uh, it was on Shadow Play Records. When did it come out? Uh, it came out, I think, around April is when it finally got out and about everywhere. Um, and we got it out in the U.S. and Europe, Canada. Which I'm really proud of. <laughs> Showed up in a lot of really cool places in Canada. Why are you looking at me the whole time? I am. Canada. Oh, you're just engaging. <laughs> you're the only person who's, who's got the, the eyes over there. Alex is looking down, Jay's looking over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so we, Canada's great. Canada's great. So uh, Shadow Play put that out. Um, they, were, they were really great at the time. Uh, and it's only been, I guess, like maybe six, seven months since that came out. Yeah. Okay. And we've been really uh, stoked on it, but those were the first set of songs that we put together and recorded and that sort of thing. We did that up in Boston uh, last summer. So yeah, yeah, we've been really happy about it. Excellent, now this isn't the only release you have out, correct? That's true. Tell um, us about we, the other stuff you have out. <laughs> we, uh, <clears throat> we have a cassette release that came out on Harding Street that was another self-titled thing. Uh, that had a couple studio songs that me and Jimmy and our first place player did together. Um, and we had a couple other extra songs on there. And then we actually have a cassette version of that that we put together for CMJ that has a few extra remix tracks that we did last year where we were just doing a bunch of scattershot releases. Um, and those two were leading up to that, actually. And then we have a limited edition of that record that came out on Harding Street that includes pretty much I think it's 16 tracks overall, wow. or like 14 or I don't own a copy of it. I don't think any of us have a copy of it. No. But there's a limited edition version of it that came out that basically had the record and then everything else that we've done up to that point, which was like an album that was wildly inconsistent. <laughs> so, so what uh, do you have a, are you working on a full length? Are you working on new stuff? Yeah, we're working on a full length right now. We just decided to. Um, we're finishing up a ten-inch split with Snowy Owls. Okay. Uh, I think we're pretty. I think we're pretty much set on doing a split seven-inch split, split with Arches. It is band Arches from Philly, who are awesome. banned from the festival today for their lack of wristbands. Oh, they're on the periphery. Oh, that's great. They're watching over the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So, what is your favorite city to play in Canada? I'm gonna say that for. In the future, my favorite city would be Toronto. 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 All right. I'm glad that we're on the same. So Canadian yeah. tour on tap. Canadian yeah, tour on tap. <laughs> Atlantis can get over the border. Whoa. Hey. I know. That's it's, different. That's his beard is yeah. is is full of amphetamines. <laughs> <laughs> we're all for Claire and D. Yeah, right. Full of Alex's Claire and D. That's all. Full uh, of yeah. You can make meth out of that. You're not alive. <laughs> 
I'd, I'd pay to see Alex try to cook meth. <laughs> Whoa. Alex is a jerk. We love Alex. That's why he gets name checked so much. I don't even get a microphone. Oh, no. you, do. you put it in front you of my mouth. Look, talk about somebody making their Defend own bed. Yourself. Allegra is a horrible allergy medicine. It works, but it makes you have panic attacks. That's true. I have. You know what? We have so many great panic attack stories about Alex. That's a whole different segment. That's like a that's like a PBS miniseries. <laughs> this one has to be brought to you by Claire D and Clonopin. And I like it. <laughs> so instead of describing your music for people who haven't heard you, tell me the funniest description you ever heard of White Lace's sound. Uh, staggering on the side of a mountain with that with, in dire need of a compass. Yes, that was the best. Yes, one. that was the yes. best. Say that one more time. I was stranded on the side stranded. of a mountain in, in dire, dire need of a compass. <laughs> There you go. If you've never heard white laces, that's what it sounds like. We say be the compass before we start now. Yeah, we always say be the compass. (laughs) (laughs) So you have actually played, you have uh, played down at South by Southwest, CMJ. Um, You know, how did those shows come about? Do you you get in touch with the organizers or do you have to know somebody? You got some connections? What's up? As my, my wonderful girlfriend can attest, I wake up in the morning and I email all day. And don't do dishes or anything else. I just email all day. And eventually somebody responds and they say, I don't know who you are, but you can do this. It's that easy. Fans out there, email all day. Uh, you know, I know some people have, have used the term shoegaze. Why is that such a, a bad term nowadays? Because we were talking about back there about how bands don't stare at their shoes. They really don't. They don't gaze at their shoes. So why is that such a bad term to use? Alex? It's, uh, <laughs> only applicable to those in Brooklyn. I, I, I think that the, the, whole, the whole idea of, of shoegaze as a pejorative term is kind of, I, I feel like it's kind of outmoded. Like, you know, what we do, and a lot of the reason we get tagged with that is A, because Alex just like pumps up the reverb on his amp all the time. <laughs> like, I, we played at Mac Rock. And people were like, yeah, it was really shoegazing. And I was like, I had my reverb turned down. And I was just like, I had mine like up. Three <laughs> it was like, I had, yeah, he had like three going at the same time. So I just think it's it's the idea of volume plus atmosphere for a lot of people automatically equals that. But um, for a lot of a lot of it, that is like the way that we the way that we came up and worked on the first few songs is kind of like jamming them out in a really loud space. And we didn't really have time to sort of finesse things and break them down and now it's the thing like the reverb's still there the echo's still there but we've kind of been pairing things back in a way that's like all right well th- we don't need to be doing all this all the time and alex and i are just like well screw this we can just take a break and have a beer all jay and jimmy do the heavy lifting which has been wonderful <laughs> <laughs> and uh i might say that I'd, I'd rather hear the word post-punk so post-punk oh really yeah. alex uh, you don't want to hear but no because people are just going to be like yeah you guys uh you guys sound like orange juice. You want to hear that? <laughs> Do you know orange juice? Uh, you know, the thing that's fascinating about Alex, and this is why we love him, is because 90% of the time, the bands we reference in rehearsal, Alex is just like, what? He's just like, what? I don't know what that sounds like. I this is not too much to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to defer to everybody else for now. OK. All right. Let me ask you, ask you one more question. If you could think back to any show that really you thought to yourself, this is one of the best shows I've ever fucking played as a band. What was it? Tonight. <laughs> Tonight at 8 o'clock. <laughs> Tonight, yeah, exactly. No. Um, right now. Probably that, that house show, the actual good house show in Austin. Austin no, house show was fun. The, the show you played at the Jazz Lounge, where there were people dancing and we were sort of mortified by it, was pretty fun. Where was that? It was a house show in Richmond. Remember? The cops came. Lynchburg. That's <laughs> <laughs> Lynchburg and Rivermont Pizza. Yeah, Lynchburg, Lynchburg and Rivermont Pizza. It was the best show um, because it was great having, you know, to turn down 20 times and then, you know, get a whole huge melodramatic spectacle out of the whole thing. Yeah, I feel like I, I was really proud. I actually, you know what, I think that was our best show because we never played a show where there were more people 
who were interested in after the fact than were actually there. <laughs> and so I think that that's that's impressive in and of itself for me. <laughs> so excellent. Outstanding. Well, this has been White Laces. Thanks everybody for joining us here on the WRAR Sonic Station. And uh, the, this is the EP, the record, it is available um, on Shadow Play Records. So thanks again guys for coming in. Thank you. Thank you.